Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games, back with another cool arcade game repair video for you today. One of the games we have here in our shop is this Atari Sprint 2 classic, classic 70s black and white video game. Uh, we got this in, and uh, it had a problem with it that a lot of these have. Now, we're obviously still working on it. It's filthy and all messed up, but right here in the middle of repairing it, we, felt, we figured we'd film this video for you because this could uh, apply to other games as well. Maybe it'll help some people out. Look at that big hole in the side of the game. Whenever we got it, uh, someone had vandalized it. So they've broken into it. They had uh, stolen even the cord off of it, right? So we did a video on it already. If you want to see us repairing it and how we got the back up and running, uh, go back and watch that video. It is here on our channel, and it was the video that we uploaded just two days ago. So if you look on our channel, uh, chronologically, we up upload them in order, right? But we still got a lot of work to do on this. But what we're up to now is the steering. So the steering is a problem on this game and a lot of Atari games. So, what is the problem? It's this steering assembly that they designed. Now this is just hanging on here, so I gotta be careful. But this thing is all loose. See how the wheel is moving? That's because this plastic piece right here um, is completely destroyed. You see how cracked up all that is? So that is a big, like a, a conical piece that goes in there that a board mounts to um, to sense the steering. And then there is a shaft that goes down through the center of it inside of that. Um, and there's a couple um, uh, bushings, one at the top, one at the bottom, and all this stuff. So there's an assembly. I'll show you the, the drawing of it here in a minute. But basically, this piece here has been a problem for a long time. So it's it's not just on this game. It was used on... Sprint. This is Sprint 2. It was used on Super Sprint, which is the one with three uh, players. It was used on uh, Championship Sprint, which is the one with the, that was a little later, the System 2 game, I believe it is. It was used on All Points Bulletin uh, and several other ones. It was, it was used on several of the 70s black and white games. Like I think it was used on Trek and, and some, other, some of the other ones. Uh, so, if you've got an Atari steering game, it very well may have this same setup on it. Now, if you've got pole position, it doesn't. Pole position is different. So, the most popular Atari game doesn't use this, but a lot of the other ones do. All of the Sprint series pretty much uses it. Um, so, what, what has been, you know, people have been fixing these for decades now. You know, most of these, this one came out in 76 and then there were a bunch of uh, Atari uh, Sprint games in the 80s that were a big deal and everything. So come along, you know, the 90s, people were started getting these in their houses that they bought from old operators and stuff. And they would fix this part. Now, one of the ways they would fix it, or the main way that they would fix it, is you would try to find one to replace it with, right? And so uh, you could get another used one that wasn't quite cracked this badly. Or you could uh, try to find a new old stock one. So there was a supply of new old stock housings, and it's about four inches down in there. You'll see it all here in a minute. Um, so it's a significant little piece, but it, it you know it's not the end of the world. There was a supply of those new old stock that people were selling for years, and it's finally kind of dried up. So the price on those just kept going up and up and up, and we're kind of the point where you can't really find a new old stock one anymore, and you can't find one that isn't all busted up, right? If it's decent, people have it on their on their game. And you can see that the wheel doesn't really... It's all screwed up, right? <laughs> so we need, to, we need to get that better. This one is no better, really. It's, it's a little better, but it's... You see the crack down there, right? Now, on this particular game, Sprint 2, this is the one-player side, and that's the two-player side. Now, how do they get broke? Well, I don't know. It could be vandalism. This thing's been uh, abused. Uh, but it, it's probably just that they got old and they get brittle over time and they just break. It could be it was a bad design idea, but it shouldn't have been done like that in the first place, right? Which, uh, the fact that they changed it on pole position might suggest that. But if you think about it, pole position was a Namco game, not an Atari game. And uh, also, um, uh, Atari made Championship Sprint after pole position and used this older... Set up, you know. So I don't know. Who knows? But a lot of them are broke. So if you've got one of those games, you very well may have one of those things broke. Well, guess what? We have found a solution. So what I did was I contacted some people, 
and asked them, hey, let's see if we can 3D print one of these. So a gentleman uh, had a friend that had one. Uh, he was able to get that piece, uh, uh, make a model of it, and he has made a prototype that he has mailed us. So in this video, we're going to test out the prototype that was 3D printed to see if it can save this old beautiful game. If it can, we're going to have him make us two brand new ones. Um, we're going to install them on the game, and that'll be that. But he's going to offer them for sale for anybody uh, that needs these in the future. He's got some other parts that he's made that he's made in the past, and he's made uh, some more Atari reproductions too. So it'll kind of be a good fit. So um, we're going to take this control panel off, clean it up, and uh, let me let me show you in the manual a little better uh, view. There's an exploded view in one of the manuals that shows you how the steering wheel is put together, what the parts look like, and uh, the part that's giving us all the trouble. Then we'll take this one apart, put the, the prototype in so we can freaking test it and give him some feedback if anything needs to be changed. We think it's a pretty good proto, proto already. Uh, he's thinking about doing a couple things to strengthen it up just so that we don't get problems in, down the road. Um, and uh, we're basically helping him develop this product that will be available to sell for people that need one for their machine. So uh, let's check out the manual for a minute and then we'll get to uh, the control panel. Okay, so here is the manual. This is uh, the Sprint 2 manual doesn't show the details on the steering wheel, but this is from Track 10, T R A K 10. Track 10, which was a similar key games uh, game from back in the day. So this is the back view of the uh, steering wheel. We're going. I'm just, we're going to show you all of this here in person here in a second. Uh, so you're looking at the back of it. There is a encoding wheel that goes through these little optics here. Or actually it's here. And there are six screws that hold it on. And then here is the side view. So we have the steering wheel. There's a long bolt that goes all the way through and attaches on the, has a nut on the back. And this housing here is the part that's cracked. So, you know, a lot of this lip is broke that attaches it to the front of the uh, of the game. You can see there's just a little bit of a lip that holds it. And so the wheel and this shaft spin inside of this thing. And this little encoding wheel runs through the optic on the back. And that's how the thing works. So there are there are two little bearings too. There's one right here and there's one here. It's just a little nylon piece of plastic or <laughs> a little nylon piece of nylon. Uh, that's called a Thompson nyliner, and um, that kind of holds everything in place and gives it a little just a little bearing. And then there's a little bit of grease in there too. So down here it has the actual part numbers. Okay, and you can see there where the housing is 00605. That's the part that's messed up. Okay, now if you look, let's go forward 10 years to Championship Sprint. Championship Sprint, very popular game. It's pretty much the same setup. Steering wheel, this little um, shaft here, it looks a little different. But there's the same exact bearing, the same exact housing, the other little bearing, and then the, the little board on the back is slightly different, but not a bunch different. It's just like the connector basically is different. And then there is the encoder hub there is the same, and the lock washer and the bolt. This actually has a bolt that goes in the back, so it's made just slightly different. There's there's basically two designs, but they use the same housing. So if you, uh, somewhere here, they actually show the part numbers for that. Let's see if we can find it. We're going through. Don't get dizzy. We're trying to go to the, to the parts list. Yeah, hello, parts list. Here we go. There are two exploded views of the same manual. 
Uh, look at that. 00605. It's the exact same part. Now it says dash 01. There must have been a, a uh, maybe it's a slightly different revision or something. I think they just upgraded their part numbers personally. Right? So that's the piece that breaks. That little, that little bezel around it chips away, and then you are in trouble. Here's an old chipped up one, so you can see kind of how the housing looks after it's all broke up. Okay, so I'm going to throw it over to Joe. He's going to start working on the control panel and tell you what he's doing and see how nice we can make the thing. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll show you where you can get the, uh, the housing from if you need one. All right, I'm going to try to clean up this control panel. We've got a guy that 3D printed us a couple of these grommets. They break on all these Atari racing games. So I'm basically going to take everything off of it. I'm going to try to clean up this aluminum. I may repaint some of this black. Just see what happens. Hopefully I can get it cleaned up a little bit. i got to take a Brillo pad to these steering wheels. Try to get some of that rust off there.
Okay, folks, so we got the prototype installed and everything's cool, but unfortunately, I think it's just a little bit too tight. But that's what we got a prototype for. It works. You can play it, but if you, the problem is, let's see, like if I set it like that, it will only spin. It's just a little too tight. It's not quite right. Right? And th since this is the same piece that's in Championship Sprint, that's one particular game where the thing's supposed to spin around pretty well, right? So um, we're having him double check some stuff, and he, I think he's going to make it just a little bit, uh, with a little bit more room in there to fit the bushing a little better. And uh, uh, he's also adding some steel studs in the, in the next one. So on the next version, it looks like it's going to be just a little, have a little bit more play in it and have those steel bushings. So we'll wait for that. And whenever we get it in, we will uh, check it out. Okay, folks, we have got, we believe, the next stage prototype. This may be the final product. So differences, added plastic, I mean, uh, metal studs, inserts. What do you call those? What are those called, Joe? He's not going to know. Huh? He says they're called inserts. I can't remember the name of them, but there's a specific name for those. So the purpose of that is those shoulders are what usually break on the game because they use bolts that basically have a thread in it that just eat into the, the uh, original stuff. Okay, now these are interesting here. These are bearings, but he is actually... 3D printed some bearings. So we're going to see if they're smooth enough though because you know when you 3D print something it has a little bit of a texture to it. So we're going to see if they are uh, smooth enough to actually work. There's even a keying, a key in it for this slot. Those are very thin but that's how it's supposed to be. Okay and then there's one on the front as well. I was noticing earlier look how it prints this kind of suede look on the front. That's kind of cool. So we're going to uh, we're going to install this. This is was made out of cardboard originally, but he's offering these now as well. Uh, it's basically a 3D printed part. I don't know where that went though. To be honest, I think maybe it went behind it. Um, so we'll see. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna mount that in and see if it's a little bit better fit on the wheel. If the wheel has a little more uh, give, so it can spin a little easier, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, folks, so here's an original one, and you can see they get all cracked up, screwed up, and these are the original uh, screws that just threaded into the plastic. Okay, so here is the prototype. You can see that he's, he's uh, made some of it a little thicker, trying to improve the product a little bit. We thought it was just a little bit tight. Here is the new one. Even with the new bearing, he's put the uh, little catches in it to catch the bolt and these of course are still thicker so we're going to test it out here's the basically the production model next to the original very cool I'm liking it a lot let's try it out So, check that out. Very cool. And the spin test. Are you ready? That's kind of how I remember it. It was something like that. And then we have the second one in for over here. This wheel is a little warped. A little bit. But, uh, works just as great. Fantastic. So, if you need that for your game, you may have a Sprint 1, you may have a Sprint 2, you may have a uh, Super Sprint, a Championship Sprint, an All Points Bulletin, you might have a Track 10, a Track 20, <laughs> a Super Bug. There's a lot of them, folks. So, if you need one, let me show you where you can get one. 
Okay, so if you'd like to get one, there's a gentleman at ArcadePlastics.com. He's a old school arcade guy, has a whole bunch of games himself, works on them a lot, and has been printing out uh, some little things that you end up needing, <laughs> like little pieces for joysticks and things like that. Um, and he decided to go ahead and make the mount, and we've tested it, and it works great. So, there are the two uh, bearings, the piece that was originally cardboard or something. I think that's some kind of spill guard or something. It just wasn't on our machine, but I think on the newer ones it's on it. Uh, some bolts and the actual housing with the inserts in it and everything fits right in your machine. It says this kit works for games such as Championship Sprint, Sprint 1, Sprint 2, Sprint 4, Super Sprint, Drag Race, Super Bug. This is a drop-in replacement for the existing steering wheel mount. And check this out. You can get all different colors. There's black, red, blue. You can get red and blue, which would probably be really nice on Championship Sprint. Uh, green, yellow. Yellow might be nice on Superbug. Very cool. Um, so it includes the housing. There's the part number, the Thompson bearing, the Thompson bearing, the cardboard ring replacement that he made out of plastic and the six hex head bolts to pop in works pretty good he says he can do pink too <laughs> all right free shipping in the u.s this is a steal we tried to get him to make the price more for you just kidding <laughs> but he's able to do these pretty affordably so forty dollars and you get all that stuff with free shipping can you believe that i'm sure the price will have to go up how he's able, even able to cover his expenses with that, I have no clue. But uh, very cool. So he's uh, working on some other plastic things and 3D printing them, and it's working great. It's a great example of using new technology to solve an old problem, right? I guess the original ones, they had a mold and they were injection molded or something. But um, yeah, so there you go. So if you need one of those, the new old stock ones seem to have dried up. They can't be found. And if they are found, they're very expensive. So here's your opportunity to get yours working good, looking good, for a fraction of the cost. Awesome to see somebody making brand new parts for a 46-year-old game. That's pretty cool. So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out ArcadePlastics.com. We're going to do another video. We still have to do some cosmetic stuff on these on this uh machine joey made the control panel look really nice inked it in and by the way that was acrylic paint we were using on that that's not a sharpie uh, if you use a sharpie whenever you clear it it'll run all over the place don't do it not even once don't try it so you want to use acrylic paint if you can so um you can get acrylic paint and a little paint pen now some of the stuff we use whenever we uh, do repairs like stuff like just little ink pens and stuff like that you can get on our website so go to lionsarcade.com there's a parts page at the top, and on the parts page, uh, there was a link to a bunch of things on Amazon that we use in our in our uh, videos. So if you click on one of those links on lionsarcade.com, uh, it takes you to Amazon. Anything you buy on Amazon, we get a little piece of. If you buy this gentleman's uh, hub, we don't get paid anything for it. The guy just uh, happened to be making one right whenever we needed one, and so we were able to test his uh, prototype and all of that, and he's not paying us to do this video or anything. We just figured we'd tell you about a great product so go check it out and check out our website too lionsarcade.com and that's that so we will do another video where we finish up the cosmetics we've got to do something about that big huge hole in the side of the cabinet people did you see that thing there's a hole kicked in the side of the cabinet looks like they went nuts on it with a hammer trying to get at the quarters the quarters are gone but the hole's still there so I got to try to fix it it's the size of a basketball not cool so uh that will be on our next video so hope you enjoyed it make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you and by the way don't forget to check out my brother donnie my brother has his own channel here on youtube uh, and uh we work on arcade games pinball machines jukeboxes things like that my brother donnie works on buildings homes lately we've been doing a mobile home <laughs> that's pretty cool uh, and uh, old vehicles, things like that. So we will see you over there on his channel, and we'll see you back on the next video where we uh, do some painting.